Congratulations, you survived Friday the 13th. And Triskaidekaphobia fills tonight's feed frenzy. After all, it's been estimated that the U.S. economy takes a $900 million hit on unlucky days like this because so many superstitious folks refuse to fly or do business. But for those who really want to prove their bravery, there was Flight 666 to hell. Yes, that is the actual number of the Finn Air flight from Copenhagen to Helsinki. It's not just airlines. The CEO of Men's Warehouse said yesterday they don't like the way they look after wedding sales plummeted thanks to brides reluctant to get married in an unlucky year. But what is it about this day that has some 20 million Americans filled with dread? Numerologists consider 12 to be a complete number. 12 months in a year, 12 signs of the zodiac, 12 gods of Olympus and apostles of Christ. So back in the day, adding one more threw the balance into chaos. Case in point, Judas, Jesus' betrayer, the 13th guest at the Last Supper. And we all know how that turned out. But it might be this film franchise that's creeping out the modern masses. Friday the 13th came out 33 years ago, and three guys thought it'd be a great idea to pay tribute with a hockey mask and a chainsaw. Their video prank went predictably viral as we all chuckled at innocent strangers literally tripping over themselves in fear. In a rather feeble attempt at responsible pranking, they removed the chain from the saw and warned others not to try this at home. But considering they didn't get shot or arrested, these guys may be the luckiest goofballs on the planet.